Hi, it's Slobodan. So today I have another CSS animation tutorial. So this time I'm building hamburger menu, which is absolutely necessary for every site that is targeting mobile phones. So let me show you what is the end result of our tutorial today. And this is the hamburger menu, which I'm going to be building in this tutorial. So you will learn how to achieve the same effect using only CSS transform perspective and transition. Let's start. First thing is that I want to simulate our mobile phone using developer tools. Control Shift I to open developer tools and Control Shift F to switch to mobile phone. Now let's start coding the HTML. First, I'm going to create a wrapper for our page. And inside of our wrapper, we're going to create an image container, which is going to hold actual image on our page. So it's going to have a class of background image, and I'm going to link a farm background. This is just some image I downloaded from the web. Then I'm going to put an overlay. This is going to have that splash effect, dirt effect on our image. For a hamburger menu icon, I want to use SVG, and I'm going to create a circle and a path for our three lines, which are going to be styled and moved on later on. Next, I want to create the menu which is going to be popping up from the bottom of the page. So it's going to have menu items and uh, the first thing in menu item we want to put an icon. I'm going to use font awesome icons so you can include that as well. So for the first link it's going to be uh, home and the text is going to be home. Now I'm going to copy and paste the six items for our menu. It's going to have about, contact, blog, gallery and frequently asked questions, FAQ. And with that, our HTML code is done. Now let's switch to style CSS to start coding and making this animated. So first, I'm going to put some basic styles for our body, like height, margin, font family, font sizes. Then I want to reset our paragraphs to have margin zero. Next element is our wrapper. This element actually is going to hold the most important in property which is a uh, perspective this way when we add the translation to our element it's going to give that effect where it's uh, sliding away to the perspective and it's going to have this background of underground which is going to show like the menu is popping up from the bottom also we are setting background size and overflow hidden as well after that we want to style our background image and we want to position it relatively and to give it a hundred percent height. The next thing which I want to style is image container and uh, here I want to uh, hide everything which is overflown and also I'm gonna give it a transform origin position so that it's centered nicely when uh, the animation takes place. Width and height are going to be a hundred percent. Now I want to style our hamburger button so I'm gonna set the background to be to A2, A2, A2 and I'm going to use fill because it's an SVG. For the hamburger itself, it's going to be positioned absolutely at the bottom. So field is going to be none, uh, and I'm going to set height, width, and padding also. Transition is going to be for transitioning in the colors. So now I want to put the styles for our lines, and the lines are going to have a white color, and the stroke width is going to be two pixels. Transition is going to be when we actually put an active state for our lines. At the same time, I'm putting some transition to our stroke and transform origin. Now we are heading over to our menu and our menu items, and we want to style a color to be white. Position is going to be at bottom. It's going to have a display flex. Height is going to be 192 pixels, and position absolute, like I said, on the bottom. So it's going to be popping up once it's active. And for the background, I will put this underground image as well, and I'm going to reposition it slightly. Next, I want to add two on-click events. Uh, first one is when we click on the hamburger menu, and the second one, we want to remove the active class when we actually click on our menu itself, so that it closes the menu. And now we want to utilize those active classes so that adds some motion to our page. First thing which we want to add is an image container to get some rotation. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's transforming, it has perspective, so you get this outcome. The next thing, we want to put our menu to zero position, so translate Y to zero, so it pops up to our page. Okay, let's see how it looks. It's popping up. 
It looks terrible, but it's popping up when we click on our hamburger menu. And also on the active state, I want to uh, show the overlay. So I'm setting opacity to one. We haven't set up any stylings yet for the overlay, so it doesn't show up now, but we're gonna do that here just in a second. Now it's turn for hamburger button. So when the active state is present, we want to move it up. So we are using translate Y. And now we want to uh, transform our lines. So first, for the first line, I want to set it diagonally and for the last one as well. For the second line, I'm going to give a scale zero because we want that to be disappeared. And also I'm giving a stroke. So it has this blue color. So it shows that it's an active state. And you can see how it looks now. It has that cross icon, so you can close the menu. It shows the user. It's very user interface friendly. Also for the hamburger, we want to set the background to be, to change the color slightly. So the fill is color of 555. And code for the animation is pretty much done. Now we just want to style our menu because it doesn't have any styles applied to it yet. So I want to center all the items to give some border. Also, I will set the display to be flex and also everything to be centered. We are going to have three items in our row, so the width is going to be 33%, and we have slight background, so it's separated from the background image itself. Also, we want to style our icons to be a slightly bigger and to have some blue color and to be separated from the text on the bottom. And for the text, we want to increase the size to 16 pixels. And the last thing is our overlay. I want to have that third splash effect once the menu is opened. So I'm using this background image to achieve this effect and I'm setting everything to be position absolute and to take full with the height of our image container. So you can see now the final result of our popping up menu. Looks cool. And that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like these type of videos as more videos, more tutorials are coming on this channel. Also, please follow me on other social medias. I'm posting a lot of tips, especially for front-end developers. So I wish you guys a great day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.